and check this out. All you have to do is this. This is my, you know, kind of, um, you know, sequence. I think they call it differently. I always kind of get confused with the terminology in Final Cut. And then I'm going to go and drag it, okay? And now I just come to my, you know, Color Lab AI. I drop it on top of it. I'm not going to save this project. That's okay. And bang, boom. It just did exactly the same <laughs> job for you. <laughs> and basically, all it is is just drag a sequence, drop it on Color BI, and it's going to open in an instant. What is not happening at the moment is I can't send the metadata back in the same fashion like I can in DaVinci Resolve. That's not happening at the moment, but watch this space. What you would do now is you would basically go and say, all right, I want to now go and export my movies, right? And I'm going to go and render all shots and I'm going to render them in ProRes 422 or 444, whatever you choose in a native resolution with whatever color space you choose. You can also go back in HDR 10 if you want to. And that then you have to relink and there is a great relink and, you know, proxy tool, they call it inside Final Cut, that is absolutely amazing. And, you know, you just kind of, you know, relink to the files because they have a same name, same time code. There's absolutely no problems with that. And you have a graded timeline in your Final Cut Pro sequence in the shortest amount of time. <laughs>